Let's check out and have a walkthrough of this 2001 Honda CRV. Welcome to Bud TV. What's up YouTube? This is Bud TV here with another episode para sa inyo. And for this week's episode, I'm gonna show you a walk around video of a 2001 Honda CRV. Different ito ah, ibang CRV ito. Baka sabihin nyo ito yung uh, project CRV natin. Hindi. This is an entirely different CRV that we got way back in 2018. Okay, so I'm gonna show it to you. Baba ba tayo sa baba. Uh, by the way, before we proceed, wag nyo kakalimutan to give this video a thumbs up. Comment kayo if you have any comments or suggestions, and share this video to your friends. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified on our future videos. And most importantly, wag na wag nyo kakalimutan na mag-subscribe sa channel namin. Okay? So thank you sa lahat ng mga supporters, new and old supporters and subscribers of Bud TV. Thank you so much for helping me reach my goal. Okay? So, ano pang gagawin natin? Baba na tayo. I'm going to show you a 2001 Honda CRV walk around video. Okay, so ito na tayo sa ating uh, 2001 Honda CRV. As you can see, dun sa maiksi nating uh, B-roll or cinematics na ginawa ko kanina, uh, nakita nyo na yung mga details niya. Pero I wanna get uh, a little bit more in-depth dun sa mga ginawa ko dito para maintindihan nyo rin at the same time. So, let's start with the engine bay, shall we? So, okay. Ito na tayo. Nakabukas na ang hood. 
Mag-start tayo sa engine bay. Ayan. Ito is a 2001 Honda CRV. So, uh, it's, uh, it has a B20B engine. Okay. And, um, uh, wala naman ako masyadong uh, pinag, uh, binago or inalter dito sa engine na ito. No? Just to give you an idea, uh, magkakaiba kasi ang engine ng 1997-1998. Na Honda CRV Gen 1 sa 1999, 2000 and 2001. So ang difference nila is naka B20A yung 9798, ang uh, 99, 2000 and 2001 is B20B. Kasi na figure out nila na mas underpower yung B20A, so nilabas nila yung B20B para ma facelift siya para mas maging mas malakas or more powerful yung engine nito. Kung papansin ninyo, um, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung itsura nito before namin siya uh, inayos. So, before, ang kulay nito was green. Since hindi namin gusto ng dark color, uh, I had it scraped off from a green, ginawa namin siyang white. So, pinasok namin siya sa Vroomix to have it repainted, scraped to metal and everything so, shout out ulit sa Brumix for um, doing this paint job for our CRV. Okay, so yan na siya. White na siya ngayon. And uh, wala naman akong masyadong binago. As what I've said, sa engine bay, I only had it refurbished. Um, basic maintenance, of course, yung mga oil seals and everything, pinalitan ko. And uh, most importantly, uh, yung mga kailangan yung na feel ko na kailangan ng palitan aside from uh, yung maintenance parts is yung power steering pump kasi meron na siyang leak tsaka nagpalit ako ng brand new na uh, compressor ng aircon aside from that wala na akong binago In Hindi ko lang siya ni-restore sa OEM uh, wrinkle finish na valve cover kasi I thought na noon sabi ko I wanna give it a try na hindi ko siya i-wrinkle finish para mas madali siyang punasan. Next, we move on dun sa body kung ano yung mga pinalitan ko. Uh, Mag-start tayo dito. Um, kung uh, titignan nyo, ito ay um, performa yung harap niya. So, I had to replace the grills, Performa grills. Itong uh, bumper, nagpalit din ako ng Performa bumpers, Japan Performa bumpers with um, uh, fog lights. Okay. Meron din tayong original na bumper pole. Uh, common yan sa Japan kasi uh, they want safety rin kasi doon and uh, para maiwasan yung mga paggas-gas-gas-gas at gas, bangga-bangga ng mga ibang sasakyan, it helps na para makita mo kung nasan yung, yung dulo ng bumper mo. And I also had my headlights replaced in with um, fresher ones. Kasi before talagang ano na siya, uh, malabo na siya, yellowish, and uh, sira na yung chrome housing niya sa loob. So, yun yung harap niya. Pagdating naman sa suspension, wala naman akong binago. Um, nagpalit lang ako ng uh, KYB XLG na shocks, which is yun yung um, pinakamagandang uh, replacement para sa uh, close to original na, na shock absorbers na pwede mong ipalit. Sa harap, ginawa ko siyang SO4 shocks. SO4 shocks are from uh, Honda Civic EKs. Okay, so mas maiksi yung ano niya, yung length niya para medyo bumaba yung harap. Okay, pero sa likod, CRV shocks pa rin yung nakakabit sa kanya na, na KYB. So, hinabol ko lang na medyo bumaba siya ng konti para maganda yung tindig niya. Pinalitan ko rin siya ng um, 17s na Gen 3 CRV na wheels. And I had it repainted para maiba naman yung itsura. Pagdating sa exhaust, 
original CRV pa rin. Not a fan ako ng, uh, ng uh, babaguhin yung muffler sa CRV, but others, yung mga builds nila, pinalitan nila ng Honda Access, which is meron naman talagang original nun. Pero I prefer to have the stock mufflers installed instead. Bumili na lang ako ng uh, original chrome uh, muffler tip para sa CRV for that clean look. Naglagay din ako ng JDM wing, performa wing, na merong third brake light na LED. Ayan. Merong mirror. And pinalagyan ko lang siya ng green glass tint para hindi naman mainit. Pero kita pa rin yung loob. Just a simple setup. So let's go ahead. Doon naman tayo sa loob. Pakita ko sa inyo yung interior. Okay. So andito na tayo sa interior. No? Yan. Wala naman ako masyadong binago sa interior. Kasi uh, sariwa naman siya. Malinis. Fresh. And uh, I didn't bother to really change the interiors. Merong ibang uh, mga kaibigan tayo na nagbi-build ng uh, interior nila, um, Performa interiors na rin para makumpleto yung uh, team ng Performa CRV nila. Pero I choose I choose na hindi ko na siya baguhin kasi uh, it's simpler this way. Um, hindi ko naman siya ginawang uh, straight Performa team or Performa setup. Ayan, still original sidings. Makikita nyo. Malinis at uh, fresh naman siya. Makikita nyo rin yung dash. Malinis at sariwa rin naman. Um, the only thing that I replaced here was yung uh, steering wheel. Um, before ako nakahanap ng fresh na steering wheel, um, siguro mga nakatatlong manubela ako tapos mix and match yung nangyari sa kanya para lang makakuha ako ng fresh pair. Aside from that, kung check nyo, nagpalit din ako ng Performa na gauges. Ayan siya. If you wanna see kung paano ko siya in-install before, I will put the links on the description box below uh, dun sa instructions or yung uh, video ko on how I installed the Performa gauge. Nagpalit din pala ako ng, ng uh, air vents na JDM. Meron na rin outside temperature. And uh, pinalitan ko rin ng uh, medyo mas bago na touchscreen to din head unit ng radio. Okay, so before we go, before we uh, end this, papakita ko lang din sa inyo yung um, something different dito sa Gen 1 CRVs natin. Um, kung, kung makikita nyo, uh, this, this um, design, itong Gen 1 design, was conceived ng 1993. Imaginein mo, sobrang tagal na niya. But surprisingly, kung titignan nyo sa labas, ano, maliit lang siya na sasakyan, na crossover. Pero once you get inside, napaka luwag niya, surprisingly. Ako ang height ko, nasa 5 foot 11 ako, pero I didn't have any problems in fitting myself in. So, very comfortable siya, maluwag siya, hindi ako nahirapan na uh, isiksik yung sarili ko compared sa ibang crossovers. So, ito, i-share ko lang din sa inyo. Ah. Oh, by the way, ito pala, um, bumili ako ng... Uh, ng tool covers dito sa mga gilid kasi yung iba kasi wala talaga so when I bought mine, wala naman tool covers so I had this uh, uh, purchased uh, surplus siya It, uh, these came from Japan itong mga tool covers siya and uh, eto meron siyang meron siyang picnic table kung makikita nyo So ito, what this, what this does is meron, ano siya, napupull up siya. 
kukunin mo lang. Tingnan mo, may tingnan niyo may butas pa sa loob kung saan niyo nilalagay yung umbrella, di ba? Yung malaking payong. So, just pull it up like that and then uh, na, meron na foldable naman yung mga paa niya. You can set it up as a picnic table. Nagamit ko na to once dito sa bahay when I had visitors and I had to use the picnic table. Napaka-useful niya. Ayan. And, um, ito, meron siyang uh, cargo hook for, uh, siguro, mga plastic bags, kung may magsha-shopping ka or what not. Meron ding lalagyan ng extra storage for tools. Ayan, dito. And uh, that's about it. Ito, ipakita ko lang din sa inyo yung, ano, yung third brake light cover. Yan yung sinasabi ko. If you guys are interested in buying that, Roomix has that for sale. They still have stocks available. You can go to their web uh, their face, Facebook page and inquire about the availability. Pero I think they still have lots of stocks available. Those are imported and they are from the US. They are 3D print and are um, suitable for Gen 1 CRVs. Shout out to Brumix Olet, KFPB, and Viray uh, Towing Services. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below for any questions or suggestions. And wag na wag nung kakalimutan to click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. And wag nyong kakalimutan din pala to click the bell icon to get notified on our future videos. Marami pong salamat sa mga old and new subscribers ng Bud TV. Thank you for your support and I'll continue to make videos para sa inyo. And before we go, I just like to make a short shout out sa mga kaibigan ko na, na sumusuporta sa Bad TV. They are Idol Rod Zabala of Rev It Up Angeles. Idol, kumusta ka na dyan? I hope to see you soon. Ingat lang lagi. Kay uh, Besh Eman Tamayor ng Jet Air Auto Care Center. I hope to see you soon pag wala mga virus. Kay uh, Boss Harlem Miliado, thank you for your support in Bad TV. Hope to see you soon din. Okay, uh, Maki Divino, my former colleague, ingat ka lagi. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for supporting Bud TV. And lastly, okay, boss, okay, Sir Marco Dayujos. Thank you for supporting. Hope to see you soon, Marco. And lastly, before we go, gusto ko lang sanang i-plug to mga YouTube channels ng mga kakilala ko. I hope you go visit their channels. I'm gonna put their links down below sa description box para mabisita nyo and makapag-subscribe na rin kayo. They're also uh, creators ng car-related videos. So I'm pretty sure magugustuhan nyo yung mga channels nila. Number one, si Boss Brian Konana ng Auto Media. Number two, si Boss Alvin ng Ven Vlogs. Number three, Si Boss AJ ng Dog Vlogs and lastly kay Miss Hazel Ramirez ng Hazel Ramirez channel. Go visit their channels and I'm pretty sure you will enjoy watching them as well. Don't forget to subscribe na rin to support their channels. And so, hanggang dito na lang ulit for this episode. I hope you like the video. If you do, just don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to Bud TV. Wag na wag nyo rin kakalimutan to click the bell icon to get notified in our future videos. I'll be seeing you on the next episode. Stay safe. God bless everybody. Bye-bye for now.